Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean to. I'm, I'm so sorry. What is wrong with you? Talk to me. It wasn't my fault. How can you do this? We were going to be transported to a safer place. You f***ed everything up. It wasn't my fault. Not your fault? Then who? You are responsible for this. You are the one that closed down your jaw. It's all your fault. We would be singing all day for so many children. We would be the best children entertainers in the whole world. Imagine us singing on stage, spotlight, shining, children laughing, seeing them smile. We made them happy. We always did that. But now, just because of you, we'll never, ever be standing on stage again. It was supposed to be our purpose in life. But then you, why didn't you want us to be happy? Look around. Look at you, blood. See? You have blood from a child all over yourself. You killed it. You, 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 you. Monster! Was this your plan all along? Letting us rot? Nothing is your fault, huh? Everything is your fault. So we need to change the world is how they see you. Ever believed or have done something that no one else could? People tend to plan things even before they know if things tend to fail or not. Then they make the impossible into reality so that everyone, every living thing can see the possibilities that can be done with the given of tomorrow. However, some things aren't meant to change for the better. Some things are to be kept forgotten or corrupted. Maybe things can give for what they've learned. I am not those things. Now entering Funtime Auditorium. Funny seeing you having trouble tracking your steps. Why are you here? Nobody wants you around torturing us anymore, Ennard. Quite frankly, I remembered you keeping things that we weren't aware of before. Those experiments, Funtime Freddy, and that weird looking door. How and why would you keep this up when we were all happier back then? Again, using the past against me? If my memory serves its purpose, then those first three things you pointed out was to help you guys. I placed warnings, surprises, and Funtime Freddy was kept away because he and I didn't know how the rest of you would think. I was only keeping him quiet so that none of us would end up being replaced. But look where that got us! Trapped for 15 years underground, Funtime Foxy! That one incident caused everything I hope to change! Talk about an incident, Ennard. I mean, for what reason would you be doing these things? You have no idea. What I want is something far impossible than to have you guys around. So, is that it? Baby was right. You don't care. You never cared about us. Care? What good is caring when I've suffered enough? Far more than you could count. My anxiety got to me and caused me to step down, and I suffered a removal damage. Not to mention me having to teach you guys how to take my place. And after the incident, I desperately tried to fix things, and look where that got me! 
Who would have known you can damage an eye so quickly, Funtime Foxy, excluding the fact that the three of you ripped HALF of my skin off? I have nothing, and so having to deal with you all is worth nothing. So, that's when you moved on to torture? There's a lot of things you don't know about. Also, the fact you haven't filled in any of the holes about what I'm up to. Holes? So then, why are you here? I heard someone answered. Well, a man was just here earlier. He had this flash thingy that hurt my eyes. Here's the thing. If you can knock out the man when he comes back, I'll let you see fun time Freddy. Freddy? Is he okay? Sure thing, he's fine. Which is why the man is in the repair room with him. I just need a small favor for you to see fun time Freddy. Just a little tip. Humans tend to not go down so easily. <laughs> I don't blame them. They tend to follow a pattern when roaming around unknown territory. Also, I need him alive, so that won't be hard for you. Concerning you can rip through your skin. So How did Fun Time Freddy end up in the repair room? Ellen! I said I was sorry! I won't do it again, please! I don't want to go through this again! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Ellen, please! We're so sorry! He had a little run down with the man the night before, and I was getting tired of seeing him suffer. But the man can't damage us that badly to be in the repair room. Don't, Don't forget, forget our little chat, Funtime Foxy. I hate to see you run down the same path as Funtime Freddy. <sighs> what made Funtime Freddy suffer? Wait! Edward! What exactly did he do? Edward? I'm still confused. Why does Edward want me to get the man for him? Now entering Funtime Auditorium. <gasps> He's coming. What do I do? I can't harm a human. I was meant to entertain. Why does Edward think I could do this for him? I don't understand what makes this man so different from the others. I just can't do this. I don't. I'm scared. What if Edward is right? What if this man can hurt me before I can get near him? I don't know what to do, but Edward promised Funtime Freddy. I miss him. Is this worth it? I can't. But Funtime Freddy... Edward said humans have a pattern, right? Just stay away from the flash and I'll be okay. Just need to... I was so close that night. Ballora was more easier to manipulate. The man, however, I thought to make him see what I plan on doing to him. I was just on my way to get him, but noticed Ballora has a thought ahead of me and sent her little friends. They were just annoying. Who knew? They were willing to help the man. I blame myself for creating these things and spent so much time making far too many. They were even willing to not let go of me. Too 
much time was wasted for these pathetic things to even stop me. I hate to break something I put so much effort to make. I didn't even realize how much damage they did to me. As soon as I destroyed them all, the man got away. He'll be smart enough to come back, but I know he will. Like I said before, I hate to do the dirty work. At least this night was a total I got what I needed. Are we going through this again? Your mom is hers. Don't you think we've gone too far? It's getting this torture over with before our chance of living is gone. Torture! The only pain we're feeling is ourselves. That's normal. Why keep going? I don't plan on living without a chance of leaving this place. Then why us? You're a part of me. A missing piece. Oh boy, this is gonna hurt. Raise yourselves. I don't understand.